Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today it's time for the weekly report, Cardano 360 edition. So this month's Cardano 360 had a lot of the same sort of chapters we would normally expect, and then at the very end, they dug into a really cool interview with Pi Lanningham from Sunday Swap, and we'll take a look at that as well. And so naturally, they started off with some of the big partnership announcements, including the partnership with Boost and Dish Mobile. Um, they also showed uh, the partnership that's going on with the Chainlink team. Additionally, they showed some of the clips of Sophia and the uh, AI work that's going on with Singularity Net. Uh, here we go. Yeah, this clip right here. Uh, and we've dug into all of those as well in additional follow-up videos that we'll link down below. We got our normal community update from Ben O'Hanlon and his team. One of the cool things they were talking about during the community update was that actually during the Cardano Summit, they had a Plutus Pioneers capstone competition going on where they had graduates from the program uh, going through and putting together capstone projects to solve real problems. And they highlighted a few of the winners of the capstone competition. Uh, you can see them here. Uh, we'll link all the different chapters for these sections below so you can dig in and get more information. But it was pretty cool to see some of these folks who have graduated from the Plutus Pioneers program putting together tooling to help the architecture of the overall Cardano ecosystem. So as additional people start coming in, they can use these tools and build on them as they're building out their dApps. It was pretty neat to see. And then from there, we went to friendly and familiar door looking at project catalyst updates. So some pretty cool updates. Uh, Fun 6 is now over. Um, and we see here that there were over 200,000 votes cast in Fun 6. Really, really cool stuff. And one of the projects that was able to get funding during Fun 6 was the automated phishing and scam detection bot by actually one of our delegators, Nick, and a couple of people he's partnering with. So Nick, congratulations, and we're excited to hear about updates as the project builds out. And if you didn't have a chance to participate in Fund 6, Fund 7 will be launching on November 11th, and this time there'll be $8 million available for Project Catalyst proposals. So while we wait for that to kick off, if you haven't been able to participate in Project Catalyst yet, now's a great time to learn more about it and how you can get involved. Next, they went into a development update talking about the different pieces of the Alonzo rollout and what comes next. For those of you that have been joining us in our live streams and have seen our recaps, this diagram looks very familiar. Um, as we know, all these things on the right have already been launched, and many of the things on the left-hand side here in the off-chain section have also been launched, but the big one that we're all waiting for is right here, the PAB, the Plutus Application Backend. Even though smart contracts successfully launched last month, the ability to do much more complex programs is still kind of inhibited by the fact that what you have to do right now is write very, very low level command line scripts to do the actual Plutus interactions back and forth. And what a lot of these larger applications are waiting on are the higher level abstractions that make it easier to execute their programs. And that is mainly captured here in the PAB, the Plutus application backend. So let's actually take a look at this part of the Cardano 360 update and see what they have to say about the PAB release. So this is our critical release uh, before the end of the year. It's getting the, the Plutus application backend to talk to our wallet backend, or AKA our Cardano wallet. So with the Cardano wallet, we have to expose the other half of the Plutus transactions that are given to it. So it's about making sure we've got a balancing endpoint, making sure that actually we've got a signing um, endpoint and also coin selection. There's a few other bits like fees and collateral that all need to be packaged up together. Now. That's now been done. We've actually exposed all those things and we are working really hard to get the PAB integrated against it. And as any engineer would know, this is the critical point. So as you integrate, you find problems and basically we just keep iterating around as we kind of fix each different problem that arises. Whilst we're, we're integrating this, we're also building a test um, DAP. So the test DAP we've got is for an NFT marketplace. and. It, it, it will go hand in hand with our PAB release. So hey, a nice little surprise there. It seems like the IOG team, in conjunction with their PAB release, is going to also release an NFT marketplace when it goes live. So for those that have been looking for an easier way to deal with NFTs, it looks like there's something coming from the IOG team when the PAB goes live. Uh, and this clip was actually from a larger segment in the mid-month update, and we'll link that below as well. And then with all this talk about the things that are coming out as soon as the PAB is up and running, uh, what better to highlight than the Sunday Swap team, easily one of the most anticipated DEXs looking to launch on the Cardano blockchain in the very near future. So they had an interview with Pi Lanningham, 
from Sunday Swap, uh, and it was actually a really, really great conversation. We encourage you to check the whole thing out, but they brought up a couple of really nice points here that I think are, are worth pointing out that really lends some credibility to the upcoming Sunday Swap launch and the work that they've done to build that credibility, both with the larger Cardano community as well as with the IOG team as well. Let's play a couple of clips here that I think were really interesting about some of the things that Pi said. Basically, for you know the the story of Sunday Swap starts in about April, and um, I joined very early May, and uh, since then it's just been growing and and kind of snowballing, and we've got huge, incredible community support and um, and we, you know, some of the first to show off real running code on a on a blockchain, and um, we're very excited and very proud of that. And uh, right now, we're just working hard to, to to deliver. And in terms of features, this is actually one of the things that we were most excited about. For anyone that's worked on the different swaps that are out there right now in the Ethereum ecosystem, we know that sort of the process of providing that liquidity can be kind of confusing. And it's cool to hear that they've addressed this head on. So let's listen to this clip here about features that are coming up. We've got some uh, kind of innovations on top of the Uniswap model that we have come up with. Um, so for example, uh, one of the things that we found when we were discussing with members in our community that really confused people is this whole notion um, in uh, a liquidity pool. I mean, I'm going to assume some basic background knowledge of, of DeFi. Um, but when you deposit into a liquidity pool, you need kind of both assets in the pool and you need them in a certain ratio and things like that. Um, and so what we've built is the ability to um, deposit just a single asset as well. Um, and effectively what it does is it swaps half of your asset for the other asset using the pool itself as it does the deposit. Um, and so you pay like a, a small transaction fee for that, um, like you would normally uh, with the swap. But um, uh, ultimately, that's a, a huge usability increase. Absolutely. I mean, this is something that we, we would hear all the time when people are trying to get into these different DEXs. It's like, wait, hold on. I need to bring how much of each and how do you balance them? And then you have to go out and buy some other coin that maybe you had no intention of having just to be able to provide liquidity. So this is it seems like something that's like, wow, that's so obvious. Like, how is that not already happening? So really cool to uh, to hear them uh, doing that. And, and apologies to Pi. This is probably a bad spot to, to pause the video. Um, but yeah, so um, there was a couple of other things here that we want to show. Let, let's show the next clip. Ultimately, though, I think what really sets us apart is our social proofs. So if you look at our backing from C-Fund, if you look at our early relationships with Cardstarter and Liquid, all of those came about because, um, you know, we stepped up and we showed them what we were building, um, kind of we gave them a peek behind closed doors, and they were very, very impressed and, uh, and decided to kind of throw their weight in with ours. It's easy to say that you have... Uh, kind of clever things. It's a lot harder to convince people um, who kind of have access to your source code and all that, um, that you are building clever things. And the piece that he kind of slid in there is that Sunday Swap is actually being backed by the C fund, the bootstrapping sort of VC arm of IOG. So that's why when Cardano 360, they were like, hey, let's highlight some of these projects. The first one they wanted to feature was Sunday Swap because it's one that they're actually backing through their C fund. Uh, and Tim Harrison does a good job of saying, hey, full disclosure, we are backing uh, this project. And additionally, the same way as how Tim Harrison pointed out, we want to make sure to point out that Sunday Swap is just one of many DEXs getting ready to launch. None of them have actually launched or really even proven themselves yet. So we're not officially endorsing any DEX either. But to give you an idea of how many are getting ready to launch, look at just a few here that Tim Harrison mentions. But make sure you check out all the other DEXs getting ready to launch, like Maladex, MinSwap, Ergodex, Cardax, Adax, Occamex, to name just a few. And we plan to bring as many of them onto the show as we can over the months ahead. So cool. We look forward to seeing more of these projects featured on Cardano 360. And of course, as you would expect from our channel, as these DEXs actually launch, we'll be doing tutorials and diving into how to use each one of them. But for now, we're holding off until these things are actually live before we really take a look. And then to finish off 360, they had a really cool montage here of some clips from the conference itself. If you weren't there in person, highly recommend you check it out. It was really, really cool capturing sort of the feel of the whole thing. And if you take a look, you might even see some familiar faces. Hey, let us know what you're most excited about that's coming out. Let us know what you're most excited about that's about to launch. And if nothing else, we'll see you next week.